You're listening to Good Morning Gwinnett, a division of Noise Media Network, hosted by Audrey Bell Kearney, sharing stories about people and places around beautiful Gwinnett County and beyond. Monday through Thursday at 10 a.m. Southern Living at its best. Good morning, good morning, good morning, all my Gwinnettians out there in Gwinnett Land and all of my friends around the world. Beautiful day here in Gwinnett County, 56 degrees, going up to a high of 67, I think. I think it's going to be pretty nice. Is it 67, 64? Going up to a high of 64, that's pretty nice. Looked like it rained early this morning. I went outside and, you know, did my little nature thing, and so it looked like it was some rain out there this morning. Um, but it's a beautiful day nonetheless. I have a busy, busy, busy day because tomorrow finally is actually the launch of the Gwinnett Women's Chamber of Commerce. And I have, you know what? I've been planning this since like January and literally I am still like, I still got stuff to do. It's so crazy. I'm looking at my to-do list. I'm looking like, oh my God, I can't believe I still have stuff to do. Like I still have pages to add to the website. I still have to go get stuff from the print shop. I did a lot of stuff, but I still got a lot. I don't have anything to wear. All of I, all of that, y'all. It's just like, oh my God. Like, whew, it's a lot. My daughter's coming with me to go find something to wear later. So we're going to do that. And then I got to pick up some stuff from the print shop. I'm going to do that. And um, I should be okay after that. But I swear, I got just so much to do. Like, I really, really do. Um, matter of fact, I need to shoot her a text message. Um, but anyway, hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Today is Wednesday, March the 9th. I, listen, I got to give a shout out to my, my road dog, my partner, my sister, my business partner, my friends for such a long time. Her birthday is today. Even though it's her birthday, we've been up working since eight o'clock. Well, I've been up, I don't know what time she started working. I started around seven. Um, but I started sending her stuff around 7.30. So I was like, look, I'm sorry. I know it's your birthday, but I, you know, we got to get it done because she is my she is my vice president of the Gwinnett Women's Chamber. And I appreciate her so much. She has been rolling with me for 26 years. She has been my business partner for 26 years, and she is still my partner. And we've been rolling. Now we're about to launch this chamber, and it's so exciting. Um, because this is like probably the biggest thing we've done since we created, invented those dolls, the first plus size fashion of dolls. Matter of fact, I'm looking at the calendar and I, I don't even know if she knows this, but this national Barbie day on her birthday, like we didn't even, we need to set up a, a national day for our dolls like Barbie. Okay. But I'm just, I'm just kidding, but it is national Barbie day. So anyway, um, I got some, I got some, I, I consider myself blessed to have some really cool friends that have been my friends for so very long. And there are four of them who have been my friends for so very long. And um, Georgette is one of them. She has been a friend for so very long. She's been my business partner. She's like my big sister. I love her dearly. And um, today's her birthday. So I want to show her some birthday love. Happy birthday. I call her G. Happy birthday, G. Listen, I thank you. I know it's your birthday. I know you want you would rather be doing something else like a spa day. So would I. I would love for us to be at the spa right now. But we got a big launch tomorrow. So I thank you for taking some time to do some work before you start your birthday. I really appreciate you and I love you for always rolling with me and always jumping on board with all my crazy ideas. Lord knows I got a lot of them. I ain't launching no more though. I'm going to tell you all right now. This right here, this is it. Like this chamber, I'm not launching anything new. At least not today. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Happy birthday, Georgia darling. Love you for life. Enjoy your day after you finish what you got to do. I know. I know. I know. I know. I hate to have you working today. But, you know, we got... You know, and it was so crazy. I was thinking this morning, why didn't we make the launch on March 17th? That would have been cool, too. That's St. Patrick's Day. Like, we could have had the luck of the Irish on our side. But anyway, today is the day. I don't know what made me say today. Not only, I mean, tomorrow. I don't know what made me say the 10th, which is crazy. No, I don't know what made me say the 10th, um, which I could have said the 17th. It would have been pretty cool. Everybody could have worn green. I don't know what uh, what I was thinking. And, and and it's crazy because my breakfast is normally, my breakfast is normally the, the second set, the second Friday of the month, which I could have like, I don't know what I was thinking. But anyway, the launch is tomorrow. No, you can't register. If you have not registered, you cannot register. Now, let me tell you all something funny, right? So I cut registration off last night because we literally needed to like get the list over to the people so they can get they can make sure everything's good. 
That was supposed to happen at eight o'clock. My husband took me to dinner. I came running in the house. I, I got to shut down the registration. I shut it down around nine 30. Somebody was, it was hilarious. Somebody was able to sneak in this morning and get a ticket. And, I'm, and the lady's like, first she emailed me. She Facebooked me. She said, Hey, can I still get a ticket? And um, before I could email her back, she goes, oh, never mind. I found the link. I'm like, how did she find the link? She said, I found the link. So I said to her, how did you find the link? So what happened was I was rushing to take the link down. I put on the thing, on the on the link, registration is closed. But for some reason, she clicked the link and the link was still live, even though it said registration is closed. And so I went to the website and I'm saying it says registration closed. So I clicked it and the link was still in there. So even though the word said registration is closed, the link was still alive and she was able to scoot through. And so she, she face, she, she messaged me on Facebook. She said, Oh, I'm so glad I was able to sneak in. It was hilarious, but we have, we are loaded y'all. So we had to cut registration off. It is cut off. And I know people have been emailing me this morning saying they, they need to get a ticket. And I'm like, look, I, I don't even think we have enough space at this point. So um, anyway, I hope it's going to be, I know it's going to be a beautiful event. I'm, I'm, I'm going all out my way to make it a beautiful event. I'm going all out my way to make sure that we service our clients, um, our members, our customers, our community, because right now there's a lot of uncertainty going on in the world. And in my opinion, the best way to, to make sure that you're okay is to have your own business. That's, that's my opinion. Because when you have your own business and you fight for your own business, you know, you can say, this is how much money I want to make. This is how often I want to work. This is the vacation I want to work at. This is what I want to, what I want to do for, for the rest of my life. You have that option. So when it comes to building wealth, I feel like entrepreneurship is one of the best ways. And Lord knows I could go on and on and on about all of the great opportunities there are out there in the entrepreneurial world right now. There are so many, y'all. When I tell you I don't sleep at night because there are so many, and I just like seeing them. I like seeing people's stories. I just like seeing the great things that they're doing. And I just want to be able to to show people, like, if you put your mind to something, like, if you really, un- listen, Georgia and I go back to this all the time. God gave me this idea for this doll. Right. And that, and that's the only thing I, when I think about, he gives me a lot of ideas like this chamber. He gave me this idea for the chamber two years ago. He gave me the ideas for the doll 20. What is this? This is night. This is 24 years ago. They will be 20. They will be 24 years old right now. Y'all 24 years ago. He gave me that idea. It was just the idea in my head. I took the idea. We put it on paper. We took the idea off the paper. We put it in clay we took the clay, we put it in wax, we took the wax, we put it in vinyl, and we had dolls, just like a Barbie. I'm telling you what I know for a fact. I'm not telling you stuff that I have not lived through. If you can believe it strong enough, it will happen. I had this idea for the chamber two years ago. On December the 26th, I went to a meeting that I was very unhappy with. And when I left that meeting, I decided that the next day that I was going to launch this chamber. That was in January. I kicked off in January. It is here March the 10th. It took me two months to do all the things that Georgette and I have done. So what I'm saying is there are so many people out there with some amazing ideas and you're just sitting on them because you're afraid. My nephew texted me yesterday. He said, I think I want to be a content creator. Now here's his dilemma. I already know what his dilemma is. He's a football, he's a college football coach and, but he's, he's good on the microphone. I said to him, I said, listen, you'll be great at that because he's good on the microphone. I could see him having a content media company just on football. One, he knows, he knows football. Two, his network in football is ridiculous. I already know he would be a uber success if he was a media a content producer on football. I already know. He said to me, but the, the content producer life, I said, listen, I do it every day. I said, I said, I do it every single day. You just have to have systems in place. You have to be committed and there has to be structure. I said, think about auntie. I do it every day. Even when I'm not on the microphone, I'm putting articles up. I'm writing articles. I'm doing stuff every day, y'all except for probably Sunday and maybe Saturday. So you can do whatever you want to do, but you just got to believe 
that you can do whatever you want to do. That's the big thing. Like you got, I believed I could do this chamber. And now we got almost a hundred women coming tomorrow. I was just like, Oh my God. Oh my, I think this is probably the second biggest event I've ever had in my life. The first big event was, was a big, beautiful doll pageant to, to launch our dolls. It was, there was no room. You know how they say standing room only? There was no room. My brother was at the door collecting money. He was like, we can't let nobody in. There was no standing room. No stand. You know how you, standing room? We had no standing room. That was the first, that event was so big. People came from, people came from the brats, from Canada to Nebraska to come to that event. That's the first event I gave. And this is the second biggest event I gave outside of my wedding. So anyway, I said all that because I felt like somebody need to hear that today. You just got to believe that's, that's it. I should, that should have been my closing argument. You just got to believe. All right. Anyway, today is Thursday, March the 9th. Happy birthday, Georgette again. Enjoy yourself. Um, it's also national Barbie day. So Barbie got her own day on the calendar. It's uh, Marigold Vespucci day, Marigold Vespucci, Bang Clang day. I don't even know what that is, but it's called Bang Clang day. March full moon, Georgia, it's a full moon on your birthday, darling. Get ready to see the magic of the full moon materialize before your eyes. Yes. We accept all magic. Yes. Full moon magic, baby. Joe Franklin, celebrate the life of Joe Franklin, the king of entertainment and the pioneer of talk shows. International School Mills Day. Listen, my favorite meal when I used to go to school, when I was in school, elementary school, there it is, because I in, in high school, we went out to lunch. Like, you could leave the building and go to lunch, so we went to lunch. But in, in elementary school, my favorite meal at elementary school was the bologna cup. Now, here's the thing. I don't know if y'all had this up north. I went to elementary school in Georgia, where I was born. And we used to have the bologna cup. My uncle and I was talking about this recently. So the bologna cup was a slice of bologna with a scoop of mashed potatoes and then a slice of cheese on top of the bologna cup. Everybody loved the bologna cup. So that was my favorite school meal. It's International School Meals Day. It's also Name Tag Day. Name Tag Day. It's National American Paddlefish Day. National American Paddlefish Day. It's National Crab Meat Day. Listen, listen here. Crab meat day, listen, crab meat day is almost every day for me, y'all. I had crabs last night, almost, listen, I love crabs. I probably need to get checked. National get over it day, whatever you hold, whatever you're holding on to, get over it. Today is national get over it day. Stop holding on to stuff you can't change, just get rid of it. Okay, listen, who is national false teeth day? Who put that on the calendar? National False Teeth Day. Who put that on the calendar? Somebody tell me that. Anyway, it's National False Teeth Day. National Dishwasher Appreciation Day. Yes, I think I will hug my dishwasher when I go downstairs. Lord knows I don't like washing dishes by hand. When I when they invented the dishwasher, they had me in mind. I'm not I think I've told y'all this story before. So my mom gave me a nickname. She called me, and I hate to say it, but she called me Lazy Days. She stopped calling me after I got like after I got grown, she didn't call me that. She used to call me Lazy Daisy. The reason she called me that was because I hated washing dishes. To this day, I hate washing dishes. Like, I am so grateful for my dishwasher because I, I will put the dishes in there in a New York minute. I hate washing dishes. My daughter, on the other hand, she would rather wash dishes by hand than use the dishwasher. I was like, yeah, you didn't get that from me. No, ma'am, because I don't like washing. I used to have a... And it wasn't even about being lazy. Like, when I grew up, you would eat off the plate dumping in the garbage and then but there's still food left on the plate right and my mom would wash all the dishes in one side of the sink and all that food would be floating around and it would touch my hand oh my god i was grossed out so i did not like washing dishes it's national heroes and benefactors day national lena day so if your name is lena shout out to you national Marsha day if your name is Marsha, shout out to you National Shane Day, if your name is Shane, shout out to you. It's also Popcorn Lovers Day, knock yourself out. It's also Meat National Meatball Day, knock yourself out. Um, World Kidney Day, okay, they put that on the calendar. Happy birthday, little Bow Wow. His name is Bow Wow now because he's not little anymore. He's a grown man. Happy birthday, Bow Wow. Happy birthday, India Royale. All right, I hear you, India Royale. Happy birthday, Sugars. Sugars, his name is Sugar. Happy birthday, Somi. Happy birthday, Matthew, uh, Matthew Greg Gulbers. I think he plays on, he's an actor on TV. I think I seen him on something. I don't, I don't think it was Bones, but it was one of them shows like Bones. 
All right, that's all your birthdays and national holidays. I'll be back on Monday to bring you more of the national birthdays and holidays. Let's get on with the rest of the show. What you know what's up next is your horoscope. All right, let's get on with these horoscopes brought to you by Noted Astrology, Michael Thyssen. I got to give a happy birthday shout out before I before I move further because tomorrow is Friday and I won't be on the air Friday. But happy birthday um, to Grandma. So Grandma is my is my husband's grandmother. Her name was Nomi and her birthday will be tomorrow. So happy birthday all the way to heaven, Grandma. And then on Saturday, I want to give a happy birthday shout out to my dad who's up in heaven with my mother. And his birthday is Saturday. So happy birthday, Daddy. Um, I wish you all was here. I wish you all were here with us to celebrate. But I know you're celebrating up there amongst the clouds. And so I love you all. Miss you all very, very much. And happy birthday all the way to heaven. All right, let's get on with these horoscopes brought to you by Noted Astrology and Micah Thyssen. But today, March the 9th, it is Thursday. You are one day away from the weekend. One day, a, one day and a wake up away from the weekend. We're going to kick this thing off like we always do. And that is with Aries. Don't overspend on luxury items. Hide your cars and learn to say no. Praise will be yours if you've been pursuing your goals. All right, look, I know you want to spend all willy-nilly. Oh, willy nilly Aries, but today is not the day to be spending on luxury items. Don't do it to yourself. Think about tomorrow. Think about tomorrow. That's all I'm saying. Taurus, don't let your partner put you down. Work quietly on your own and you will forge ahead. Your professional attitude will not go unnoticed. All right, they're looking at you. Taurus, people are always watching you no matter what you do. Always watching you. So that is, listen, just be on your best behavior. Be professional all the time. All right? Gemini, you may want to have a heart-to-heart talk with close and trusted friends. Try not to get upset or angry without having all the facts. Don't get upset. Don't get upset. Listen, have the heart-to-heart, Gemini, but try not to get upset or angry until you have all the facts. Whatever you do, stay calm. Get the facts before you make any judgment or do anything rash. I'm just saying. Get it all first. Have the heart-to-heart, but make sure you have all the facts. Cancer, you need to be around friends and family. Pay off all your debts before you go out and celebrate. Be discreet about any information you uncover. All right, look, look, Cancer, do not go out there spending money until you pay your bills. Pay your bit. Would you pay my telephone bill? No, pay your own bills. Pay your bills, Cancer, then have some fun. Leo, you are best to stick to yourself today. You will be overly sensitive with dealing with your personal life. Be careful of the groups you join or the people you associate with. Let me tell you something. People will judge you by your friends. So just be careful who you associate yourself with. That's the, that's the truth, y'all. I'm just telling you what it is. It is the truth, truth, truth. You'll be overly sensitive when dealing with personal life. I get it. Stay calm. Think it through. You're a little sensitive and, and your, your sensitivity may be clouding your judgment just a little bit, Leo. Just a little bit. All right. Virgo, don't let relatives stand in the way of your personal plans. Try to bend to their wishes if you want to avoid conflict. Accept the inevitable. All right, I know Virgo is saying, I'm not trying to bend to anybody. I get it, Virgo. Sometimes it's better to be happy than to be right. I'm just saying. Is it something that you can just say, you know what, it's all, it's all good, whatever. Just just roll with that. Is it something that you can say that to? Because sometimes, y'all, it's just, it's just better to be happy than right. I'm, I'm just, I'm telling you the truth. It just really is. And sometimes you just got to bend just to avoid conflict. I do it all the time. I mean, not all the time, but I do a lot of times. Like sometimes I don't need to like arguing. And I'll give you a prime example. <laughs> so I was talking to my uncle yesterday, right? My uncle, so my uncle, <laughs> he's older. He's a lot older. But sometimes he uses words. He say things that don't make sense, right? But to him, they make sense. And so I'll catch myself correcting him. And he's very adamant that what he said makes sense. And when I realized that he's very adamant about it. I just let him make sense to himself. I don't even go you know, any deeper past. I'm like, yeah, that's not right, but whatever. You right. I just leave it just like that. And this, that's when I, when I say I have to do that all the time, I do it all the time with him. Like it's this, I'd be like, yeah, that's not how that works. Yeah, but that's what, what I'm saying. That's what it, I, okay. And I leave it right there. I don't have to go any further. Believe what you want to believe. If it's right to you, then it's right. It don't affect me at all. So I don't care. Okay. I tried to tell you it's not right, but if you saying it's right and it's right to you, then it's right. I'm not, it doesn't affect me. So I, I stop, bam, right there. I stop right there. So sometimes, sometimes Virgo, it's better just to bow to the, to the, to the, to the problem and, and to avoid conflict, right? That's all. All right. I'm going to a song. I'll be right back after this song to bring you more of what's 
more of the horoscopes brought to you by Noted Astrology, Micah Thyssen. Stay tuned. I last heard your voice I know that you felt like you didn't have the choice And I don't blame you No, I don't blame you you by my side yes 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 listen to this y'all what would be the odds of two siblings having the same birthday i feel like one of the siblings probably feel like they were cheated like i would like about i probably like listen leave a man to tomorrow so georgette's birthday is today and her brother's birthday is today that is the that listen i probably feel cheated I would be feeling like I got to share my birthday. Like, yeah. But anyway, happy birthday to Bobby. His birthday is also today. I thought that was pretty, pretty funny. And it's so funny because I wonder what her mom was thinking like when baby was about to come. Because he came after Georgette, I think. I think so. Um, I think Georgette is the old. No. I don't know. Anyway, happy birthday, Bobby. I don't even know. I can't even tell y'all. But anyway, I think I probably would feel a little cheated. Yes, I don't have my own birthday. I got to share my birthday with you. 
She's a good sister, though, so it's cool. All right, we're going to pick this thing up with Libra. Enjoy socializing today. Put your efforts into money-making ventures. Take control of your irritability if you're experiencing emotional problems with your partner. All right. Uh, now, look, put your efforts into money-making ventures. It's a lot of them, y'all. It's so many. I think I told y'all yesterday about my my venture of having a transportation service. And I, that's still not dead. I said I wasn't going to start anything else, but I might. I might just start something else because that, to me, that's really a good business. I just didn't have time to flush it all out. But right now, my focus is the chamber. But later on, when I retire from the chamber, because, you know, somebody has to replace me one day, um, I might do that business. So many, listen, listen, Libra, there are so many ventures out there right now. I could just, I think I need to do a, a report on all the business ventures out there. Um... Yeah, I might do something like that. Let me think about that. But anyway, if you're going to put your efforts into money-making ventures, leave it. Make sure there are ventures that you can actually commit to, right? Do your due diligence. Know yourself. It's really important that you know yourself. Like, I do this right here, right? I'm waiting for somebody to come and drop a million on me for this show. Because I this is, the, this is the consistent thing in my life, y'all. Because I love doing it. I'm just waiting on a million dollars to drop. It's coming. I feel it in my bones. It's coming. Million plus. Like, this is going to be a hundred million dollar company. I know it is. I know this is going to be a hundred million dollar company. It's coming. But here's the thing, Libra. I get up every day and I do it. I do it because I love it. So, that's what you got to have. Scorpio. Your interest in religion and philosophy may lead you to specific destinations. Don't let your partner set any argument. Start any arguments. Passion should be... Your passion should be redirected positively. Your passion mood will be well received by your mate. You got a lot going on today, Scorpio. You got interest in, in, in religion and philosophy. Going to lead you to some specific destinations. You're in search of something. You're about to find it. Scorpio, are you in search of something? You are about to find it. Now, here's the thing. Are you sure you want to find it? You in search of it. Are you sure? I'm just asking the question. In the meantime, don't let your partner start arguments. Listen, say, listen, kiss on him. Like, listen, stop, stop. We're not going to argue today. Not today. Today is Barbie's day. I'm just, I'm just making up stuff. It is National Barbie Day though, but I don't know why that came to mind. Scorpio, don't fight with him. Just, just, just lay it on him. Smack him. Smack him with a kiss. That's all. I'm talking about with a kiss, y'all. I'm not telling him to be violent. I'm like, kiss him. You're like, smack. That kind of smack. Somebody's like, oh my gosh, she's violent. I am not, not, I'm not unless you piss me off. Just keeping it real. Sagittarius, be sure to get involved with those who can introduce you to unusual forms of entertainment. Now that sounds very risque. All right, Sag, I don't know about that one. Now be careful. Pro uh, property purchases should be on your mind. Your fun loving approach will be admired and appreciated by others. Okay. Listen, that whole, you know, get introduced to some unusual forms of entertainment. What does that mean? Uh, that sounds a little risque to me. Yes, yeah, risque. And I'm just saying. Your friend-loving approach will be admired and appreciated by others. Kudos to you. Capricorn, stress coupled with diet will add to stomach problems. It will be in your best interest to stay away from any intimate involvement with the client or a co-worker. Females may put demands or added responsibilities on you. Here's the thing, Capricorn. Do not, if you can, at, avoid having a relationship at work. Or Listen, I ain't messing with my clients. Because you mess with the clients, you're messing with the money. The co-worker, you know, I've done that. If it doesn't work out, everybody at the job know it didn't work out. He knows it didn't work out. The people that you want to date know it didn't work out. It's a weird situation. So I'm just saying, I've done it. It's not fun. It's not fun at all. It's not fun. It's not fun at all. In the meantime, the client thing, absolutely no. Unless unless we have closed our, our deals and all the money is in the middle of the situation where I still got to get my cash. No, no, no. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Don't mess with the money, Capricorn. The client is off limits. Off limits. The co the, the coworker may should be too. I'm just saying. Because that's really a, ugh, that's not a good situation if it doesn't last. Aquarius, try to stay calm and do the best you can. Your nerves are frazzled. Love could develop at social events that are work-related. All right, stay calm. I know your nerves are fragile. Listen, go outside, get you some fresh air, get you a glass of wine, relax for a minute. You're going to go to this social event and you're going to find somebody that you could probably fall in love with. But if you are frazzled and sweating and looking crazy, nobody's going to come up to you looking like that, Aquarius. So get your, pull yourself together. 
Put yourself together. Pull it together. All right? And do your thing. All right, last but not least, my fellow fish Pisces. Oh, listen, we do not like this. They may cost you dearly. Who the heck are they? Fish, who are they that's going to cost us dearly? They say may. May cost us dearly. So be careful. This will be a great night to invite friends over to visit. Your home environment appears a little shaky. Really now? Hold on a minute. What are you saying, universe? Is my home environment shaky? What does that mean? I don't think my home environment is shaky. I don't know about you, fish. Check your house. Check your house, baby. Make sure your foundation is solid. Is your house built on solid ground? I'm just saying it may be a little shaky. Maybe it's a a crack in the foundation. Check the foundation. Check the walls. See if you see any cracks. Literally. Figuratively and literally. Make sure your home environment is good. good. Here's the thing. Sometimes things are happening at home you don't even have a clue about. You know why? Because the person that is is involved, they haven't told you that there's a problem. So you go along thinking everything is good. I'm just saying, check your... Hey, hey, my Aries. I, if you're listening, are we solid? Is our foundation and the structure good? Let me know. If we, if we shake it, I need to know. I right, listen. Let me know. Check your things out. In the meantime, we ain't letting nobody cost us dearly today. So it said may. They say, and they say will. It said may. So be careful how you handle the coins. Be careful how you handle anything today, fish. Anything. And this is be a great night to invite invite a friend over. So have a friend over. Get you a glass of wine. You know, eat some popcorn. It's National Popcorn Day. All of that good stuff. You know, just have a great day. All right, that's all the horoscopes I got for you today. I'll be back again on Monday at 10 a.m. to bring you more of the horoscopes brought to you by Noted Astrology and Micah Thoughts. And now let's get on to some news that you can use. All right, Senator Raphael Warnock, Mark Rubio filed legislation to extend duty-free importing from Haitian-made, handmade clothing. So now, um, I think that's a good thing. You know, it's a lot. It's a lot. One of the things we're going to be doing um, with the great with, with, with the Gwinnett's Women's Chamber is uh, providing opportunities for women to do other things like this, to get involved with women who are doing businesses in other countries. So I'm excited about that. Um, and this this whole lifting the tax for import, I think that's great. Anyway, one of the laws is the Haitian hem- Hemisphere Opportunity Through Partnership I- Encouragement. It stands. It says Hope Hope Act, also known as the Hope Act. The other is the Haitian Economic Lift Program Act, also known as Help Act. These bills are set to expire in 2025, so they extended them. They extended them until 2035. So, but for and this is to help. Listen. We can help if we want to help, and this is this is this is Marco Rubio, this is uh, Senator uh, Senator Warnock and Marco Rubio um, way of helping the people in Haiti um, who are probably going through some things. So if they lift uh, extend the tax for you know to twenty thirty five, is it gonna hurt us for real? It's gonna help somebody, and I think the more we help people in this world, the better we'll have a the better world we will have. So the fact that they have you know extended that duty free importing tax for hand, Haitian made clothing, that's only gonna help the country of Haiti, and they need the help. So kudos to you guys for doing that. I know some people are like why because we can help. That's why. That's why. That is why. It's not gonna hurt us to help. And that, if everybody took that kind of mindset, the world would be a better place for real. It really would. All right, the depot district signs also serve as additional lighting in the depot area. So downtown, this is really cute. So downtown Lawrenceville, if you go all the way down Clayton Street, right when you get to Slowpore and Iron, like right when you get to the crossing at Slowpore right there, they have the the light trestle over the over there. It says depot district. It is really, really cute, y'all. Um, listen, I love Lawrenceville. I love Gwinnett County. And I love all the stuff that I see. You know, I'm I'm missing the countryside of it because I that's why I, that's what I fell in love with the countryside because I was literally in unincorporated Lawrenceville, and I was two minutes into the country, literally. Like I go straight down New Hope Road and be into the country over in Decula. Now it's just houses everywhere, but I still love it. Anyway, the depot signage is great. It's operational. You can see it downtown Lawrenceville. So if you go downtown Lawrenceville, check it out. It's really nice, y'all. I like it. I think it a lot. All right, so listen, I'm going to go to a song. I'll be right back after the song to bring you more of what's going on in and around Gwinnett County. So stay tuned. I'll be right back. Tell him no, 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 no. Sorry, but I'm busy. So you wanna do 
Tell them no. There's no need to put up with it. Tell them absolutely not. I know somebody's like, oh, but I can't. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. You just got to say so. Um, the Gwinnett public meeting to address safety concerns to teen overdoses. Let me tell you something. So earlier this year, um, our district attorney said anybody who sells opioids to anybody and they die, they're going to prison. I mean, she was going to prosecute them. And she did prosecute somebody recently, but this is still a problem in our community. Um, it's still a problem because they're the, the opioids are too accessible and teens just, they just take them because you know, they're not, I don't know. This is terrible. Anyway, the meeting is, is re, this meeting that's going to happen tonight at six 30 is in response to the number of homicides involved involving youth overdoses among teens and other tragic events affecting Hispanic community. People, uh, the police said in a news release. So there's going to be a meeting this evening, Thursday. It's going to start at six 30. It's going to be at universal church, six zero eight one Singleton road. Um, this is to, to address the safety concern. And so I wanted to, I wanted, I normally talk about events at the end, but this is a really important event. So it's going to happen this evening. So if you know somebody who may be surf, suffering from, you know, opioids and, and you lost somebody because of drug, drug overdoses, please attend this meeting and share your story and try to encourage people and young and youth and families to take this thing seriously. You know, you don't know what your kids are doing. You got to watch them jokers. They're smart. But here's the other thing. If you know that you take opioids, just don't have them laying around the house. Like, just don't. Like, I don't even take them. Like, they'll give me pain. Let me tell you something. I had surgery. I had, um, I had uh, endometriosis. My daughter told me that's what it was. I didn't even know what it was. March 17th, 2017, I got diagnosed. They thought it was cancer, but it turned out that I had endometriosis. When I tell y'all that was the worst pain I ever had in my life after having surgery. And so they gave me a liquid pain medication, right? When I tell you, I felt nothing. I called the doctor back. Like, can I get some more? And they were like, nope. But it wasn't because I was trying to get high. It just, I didn't feel any pain. So when, when it wore off, I felt the pain. And I said to my husband, I need more. And they were like, you cannot get more. That's what the doctor's going to have to say too. Like, I don't care how much pain I was in. It's like in a couple of days, you won't feel as much pain. And they were right. A few days later, I felt a lot better and then a lot better and a lot better. But in that moment, when that pain hit me, I wanted, and I had taken a whole bottle that they, they gave me. So just be careful and mindful about how you store your medication, especially if it's opioids. 
because these kids are in there rambling through your, your drug ca- cabinet and they're taking them to school. They think it's funny. You know, they think it's cool and it's not. It's dangerous. It could be life threatening. All right. I don't mean to get on my soapbox, but I had to talk about that. All right, so yesterday they celebrate International Women's Day, which I did not know, so I missed it. Anyway, so today we want to recognize um, three inspirational leaders who have contributed to critical um, roles at the sheriff's office. Yes, like they do the thing. They they keep us safe. So the the, the, the director of administrative bu- the director of administrative bureau, Deputy Chief Jones, um, director of administrative administrative services division. Assistant Chief Walker, Jail Operations Division, Assistant Chief McKenzie. They say, we honor you for your exemplary work, breaking down barriers and paving the way. Today, the Gwinnett County Sheriff's Office encourages you to take a moment to celebrate the achievements of women who have impacted you. <clears throat> that was yesterday. I missed it, but I wanted to, you know, shot them out because it is Women's History Month. And they go to work and they make sure that, they, that everybody gets what they need. And um, I think it's really cool. So shout out to all the ladies over at the sheriff's office for doing a great job. I just want to show you some love today because, you know, this is, you know, you do a great job. And so you wouldn't be in this picture that you're going to see on my podcast page if you weren't doing exemplary, exemplary work. You just wouldn't be. So that's just how it is. So shout out to all of the ladies. Um, Piedmont Eastside Medical Center welcome a new chief of executive officer this week. Uh, the hospital, which is located in Schnellville, announced on Wednesday that Larry Ebert became Eastside new CEO on Monday. Ebert previously served as the CEO of Piedmont Walton Hospital in Monroe for, for the last five years. So welcome. Welcome over to Piedmont Medical. I'm sure they're probably happy to have you. So he's going to replace Trent Lynn, who had um, been Eastside's uh, CEO for more than seven years, but recently left to join the community health systems in Franklin, Tennessee. So he left Georgia altogether. He's like, I'm out. Got to go. He went to Franklin. So welcome, um, Mr. Ebert, to Piedmont and to Gwinnett County. I'm sure they're happy to have you over there. Yes. You know, so a lot goes on in the hospital. You got to have strong leadership. You do. You do. The city of Swanee announces a new community playground, hopefully just in time for the summer. Yep, I hope they're going to do it just in time for the summer. Over a five-day period in 2004, more than 1,000 community members helped build a community playground that came to be known as Playtown Swanee. The city of Swanee says that it's time to do it again. Let's do it. Let's do it again. Do it again. Do it again. Let's do it again. Yeah, did y'all remember? Did y'all ever see that movie? Let's do it again with Richard Pryor. That was one of our favorite movies. Let's do it again. Ah, the staple singer. That song is by the staple singers. I remember that. Anyway, building upon the success of Playtown Swanee nearly 20 years ago, the city is excited to announce plans for a new community play playground. Yep, it's gonna be coming fall 2023, so it won't make the summer, but by next summer, it should be all done. The city approved Leathers and Associates, the designer and project management team behind the original community bill to return to Swanee and help modernize Playtown Swanee for a new generation. Yes. So the kids are going to get a new place to play. I think that's beautiful. Yep. I really do. Listen, I talk about this all the time. When I moved down here, the most beautiful parks I had ever seen in my life were in Gwinnett County. I had never seen them. I grew up by a park. I literally could walk around to my uncle's house. He lived right across the street in front of the park. Like I lived on one block. He lived on the next block. I could walk. It took me five minutes to walk around the corner. If I, maybe even two, walk around the corner to his house and across the street was a park. I grew up by a park. I played in the park. They look nothing like the parks in Gwinnett County. When we got here, I said to my husband, these are the most beautiful parks I've ever seen in my life. Had never seen a beautiful public park. So I know that the water, the uh, playground area, the play, the playground area is going to be beautiful, just like the ones that we already have. So that's pretty cool. Listen, y'all, I had to tell y'all this because I was a little bit excited about this. And I'm going to have to try this out. There's a new crab place. I just told y'all I love crabs. Today is crab meat day. Every day is almost crab meat for day. I eat crab at least three times a week, every week. Um, but to, there's a new restaurant coming down to the exchange in Beaufort. By the you know the exchange down there the Gwinnett Exchange it's called the Twisted Crab. I'm going, I'm going to check it out. I need to see what it tastes like. Now, let me just say this: I've been disappointed though by a lot of the crab places. I've been a little disappointed. I ain't gonna even lie to y'all because you go to these places and when you go, um, 
the food is like, it's not, it's, it tastes pretty much the same as all the crab places I've gone to. I'm not going to name names, but I, they all pretty much taste the same to me. And they don't give you enough food. So that other thing, like what happened to the food? But anyway, I'm going to check out the Twisty Crab because I like twist. I like crab. So I'm going to check them out. The restaurant looks pretty from the picture. So I'm going to check them out, see what they're talking about. They got the crab boil. You know, everybody has a crab boil. Anyway, the Twisted Crab is located at the Exchange at Gwinnett, located at 2925 Buford Drive, um, building 1500 in Buford. The restaurant talks itself as offering fresh seafood and wings. Okay, you put chicken and seafood. Okay, all right, how do you want to listen? Whatever works for you is your business. The menu offers fried baskets and wings as well as seafood boils. So you want more information, Christy Twisted Crab, you need to pay me for this shout out. It's the twistedcrab.com, the twistedcrab.com. Y'all might bump into me there. Because, you know, I love me some crabs. I do, I do, I do. I really, really do. All right, listen, that's all I got. I'm going to go to my last song. It's really cute in there, though. The pictures are nice. They got the logos all over. Listen, one thing about it, they got the logos everywhere. I like that logos on the seat, logos on the, the dividers between the tables. Like, you're going to remember the, the, the Twisted Crab. Now, the branding, all right, somebody did good with the branding. I like it. And the build is nice. It's, it's really cute, actually. Yeah, yeah. You can check it out on Gwinnett Daily Post. It's there. Um, it's rustic looking. It's cute. I like it. It looks really cute. I'm going to check it out, though. Oh, they got crab crab. I see crab crabs. I thought they had blue crabs. Anyway, I'm going to a song, and I'll be right back after this song to give you my closing inspiration for the day. So stay tuned. I'll be right back.
welcome back. So listen, guys, that's all I got for you today. But before I go, I want to give you my words of inspiration. Here goes. The secret to living a life of happiness is to dream it, believe it, embrace it, love it, feel it, be it today and every day in every little way imaginable. Ooh, let me say it again because somebody needed to hear it one more time. The secret to living a life of happiness is to dream it, believe it, embrace it, love it, feel it, be it today and every day in every little way imaginable. That's a word of inspiration for you there, baby. I don't have to say anything else. You got to believe it. You got to dream it. You got to feel it. You got to live it every single day and everywhere imaginable. When you start to do those things, the things that you dream about and believe in come to life. And I'm, I'm a prime example. Y'all hear me talk about this stuff all the time. And it, I, I probably, it's probably like a little bit too much, but I want, I, somebody's listening right now and they want to do something and they're afraid. They feel like they can't do it. Let me tell you this, find you a community of people that will push you when you are about to fall. That will push you when you can't go no further, when you think you can't go no further. That's going to hold you up when your arms and legs are limp and you can get it done. I can't do these things by myself. I have people around me who love and support me. They see the dream, they see the vision, and they jump in. There are other people around me who don't see the dream and don't see the vision, so they don't jump in, and that's okay. But the ones who see the dreams and vision and jump in, come on, baby. Let's get on this boat. Let's go for this ride. Listen, you can do it. You just got to get around the right people who believe in you, who will push you, who is who's going to help you, who's going to hold you up when you're falling down, who's going to inspire you when you're feeling low. Yeah, you got to get around those type of people. And then just believe that it can happen. It'll happen, but you got to believe it. I struggle with some things. There are still things that I struggle with that my mind won't let me focus on like I should because I struggle with it. But there are other things. When, when, my, when my mind is set and I'm not struggling, oh baby, it get it get it get got it gets done. The chamber is one of them. So anyway, you can't register because it's closed. I wish you could, but that's okay. We got a bunch of events coming up, so just make sure to go to Gwinnett Women's Chamber. Get on our newsletter list because we got a lot of stuff coming up for this year. I gotta go. I got to go finish getting everything ready for tomorrow. But I want to thank you for taking the time to listen to me today. If you enjoyed this show, be sure to go to goodmorninggwinnett.com to listen to all past episodes and connect with me on social media at Good Morning Gwinnett. I will be back again on Monday, God willing. You guys stay safe out there, my friends. Stay safe out there. And until next time, until next time, make it a great day. Bye, y'all. You've been listening to Good Morning Gwinnett. Make sure to tune in Monday through Thursday at 10 a.m. Eastern Time to find out what's happening around Gwinnett. If you like this episode, subscribe now and share with your friends. To learn more about Noise Media Network, visit noisemedia.us.